I really hate everything about nursing. I don't look forward to going to my classes. I hate going to clinicals. I don't want to take care of patients. I'm not doing well in nursing school. I don't know if I should continue pursuing this major or if I should just quit and pick another major. I've already put three years toward nursing school. What should I do? From our inbox to you, Nurse JoJo's top five answers to your nursing school worries. Are you a nursing student feeling the beat of nursing school? Whether you're navigating through tough exams, demanding clinical, or just trying to keep your head above water, you're not alone. I've been exactly where you are now. In this video, I'm going to share my top five pieces of advice addressing five anonymous concerns from students I've spoken to from my cutie nurses community. The advice I'm sharing in this video is what helped me thrive in nursing school, not just survive. These aren't just tips. They're lifelines from someone who's walked in your shoes. Brave nursing students reach out with their burning questions, and I'm thrilled to share the answers with you. I know these scenarios are all too familiar to many of you in nursing school, and I'm here to shed some light and guidance on these common challenges. So let's go ahead and dive into these questions and my responses and see how they can help you navigate your own nursing journey. All right, so first question. Hi, Nurse Jojo. I don't know what to do. I really hate everything about nursing. I don't look forward to going to my classes. I hate going to clinicals. I don't want to take care of patients. I'm not doing well in nursing school. I don't know if I should continue pursuing this major or if I should just quit and pick another major. I've already put three years toward nursing school. What should I do? Okay. So first off, let's start with a positive note. You survived three years of nursing school. It sounds more like you are burnt out from the pressure of nursing school and you're at a breaking point. We have all been there. The question is, are you feeling this way about nursing school because of everything thrown on your plate? Did you genuinely want to become a nurse before it got hard? I ask because when I make a life-changing decision, I take a step back and I make my decision when I'm not at a breaking point. The last thing you want to do is have regrets. It is important that if you do decide to walk away from nursing, you will not have any regrets and you'll be going towards a path that you will genuinely enjoy. There are nursing positions where you don't even have to deal with patient care or at least minimal patient care. I precepted someone who could not handle it at all, but she was absolutely thriving as a cosmetic nurse. Another colleague went on to be an insurance nurse and not provide any care for patients. I have always wanted to be in IT but my mom did push me to be a nurse. I went on to get a master's degree in nursing informatics, and now I am dealing with clinical staff instead of patient care. If you manage to get through and finish your last year out, know that you do have a variety of options that won't make you feel like nursing school was a waste of time. If you do decide to walk away, you have to be ready to start all over again. Whichever new major you pick, the grass is not always going to be greener on the other side. I do completely respect the difficulties and challenges other majors come with. As long as you do your research to find out what those challenges are and you are willing to tackle them, then you'll be okay. The last thing you want is to jump from major to major because you end up encountering difficulties. Either decision is the correct decision meaning you're going to do what's best for you. Should you choose to stay in nursing school, address your burnout, prioritize self-care, and take it one day at a time. Question two, Nurse Jojo, I have a professor who is always giving me a hard time. She is always calling on me 50% more than my other peers. I even keep track of this. If I get the answer incorrectly, she puts me down and embarrasses me in front of my classmates. It's really giving me a lot of anxiety and I don't know what to do. I am also non-confrontational, so do I just put up with it until I don't have to deal with her anymore? Ooh. I am not sure if nursing school have this thing where they always have to have that one professor with a superior conflict or just that professor that has to single someone out in every class. It is so hard to be told not to take this personally when it does feel personal. Professors do tend to call on someone that has demonstrated that they understand their material less than the other nurses. I want to give the benefit of the doubt and say that it could be coming from a place where the professor just wants to see you do well. 
Students not doing well in class do reflect on them, so they absolutely do not want to see their students fail. If you're not willing to talk to the professor in person, then I would highly recommend writing an email. It also helps that there's an actual documentation of you stating your perspective so the professor can say that you never talked to them or you never told them anything. It also gives the professor time to reflect before responding on the spot in a defensive manner. The email has to be objective and not written emotionally, which of course is not easy when it may feel personal. I would use ice statement and not you statement. First, this is classic one-on-one therapeutic technique. Second, this keeps the recipient from feeling attacked. I would write something like this. Dear professor, I currently attend your class on Tuesday and I appreciate the lecture and how you break down the material to help us succeed. I noted that in comparison to my other classes, I have been called on more than my other peers to answer questions. My peers have also noted this as well. It's getting to the point where I am feeling uncomfortable and I do not wish to address this in front of others. I believe your intentions are to see your students do well and to demonstrate our competency. I just have been feeling more anxious lately and wanted to let you be aware of my perspective. Thank you for your time. You can rewrite this letter however you want. You can also choose not to say anything to the professor or send the letter at all. I've dealt with a nasty professor who told me that if I don't know an answer so basic, I deserve to jump out the window because I was a waste of space for a nursing student who did deserve to be there. We were on the third floor. Being a freshman who does not have the courage that I have today, I definitely didn't confront her or even thought to have sent a letter. I did, however, just stay silent and just pass the class. I moved on to the next class and I never saw the professor again. So, should you decide not to confront your professor or send an email, just know that this experience is transient. Study harder, be ready to answer questions, and celebrate when you do pass the class and know that you never have to put up with this professor again. Question 3. Nurse Jojo, have you ever encountered a bully in nursing school? I thought this stuff would be in the past like in high school. Why on earth am I dealing with a bully in college? Do I just ignore her or deal with her head on? Oh my gosh. Okay, you'll be surprised, but bullies are everywhere. They're in high school, college, keyboard warriors on the internet, and could even be your own co-workers when you just got your first nursing job. Just when you are dealing with the stress of nursing school as it is, you're now also dealing with extra stress that is affecting your college experience. I dealt with something like this. I had a classmate report me and four other classmates were being on Facebook during class. Really? She stated that this was very distracting. However, she really also went out of her way to report us for every tiny little thing and even stated that we were bullying her. The funny thing is, we don't even know her name. We've never even spoken to her at all. I honestly didn't even know she was in my very large class. There was over a hundred of us. Every single time she reported us, the professors just dismissed it because they knew there was no grounds for these claims. I even spoke with the director of nursing and stated that the only reason we were on Facebook was because I am partially deaf and both ears. I wear hearing aid. The professor has a strong accent and I was grateful to have a study group to tell me what the professor was saying without interrupting her lecture. So, unless this bully who likes to make things up can prove that we're using Facebook for other reasons, which we weren't, the director of nursing can't just go based on her words alone. She also asked asked us why would someone even report that we're all bullying her and just randomly making it up. I have no clue why someone would do that. The five of us don't even hang out. We're not friends. We're just here to survive nursing school. I mean, nothing against them. Just, you know, we just came from different groups. We just do our own thing, but it is what it is. I did confront her in person and she was shocked. I said this is the first time we're ever talking. If you have an issue, 
please let me know. She is also welcome to sit in the very front row if me being deaf and getting assistance from my classmate was so distracting to her. I even told her I would report her for discrimination if she couldn't handle me getting that kind of assistance from our generous classmate. She was very embarrassed when she found out that I have hearing loss and I just couldn't hear her. She also needs to look up the actual definition of bullying considering we've never spoken before. Turns out she just wants to feel part of a group. I told her she's welcome to my nursing note, but the five of us are not even friends. Also, reporting us on a daily basis wasn't even going to make us friends. I offer her my notes, but I never heard from her again. But for you, I don't know why your boy is acting the way that he or she is. You can build up a case and document the dates and times with statement of what your bully is saying or doing to you. You can also bring this to the director of nursing, which is what I had to do. You can choose to confront them and ask what his or her intentions are. You can do what everyone says and just ignore the bully outright. I completely understand how an individual can completely bring you distress while you're just trying to get by. It is definitely hard to get them to stop, but you can analyze the situation and determine which course of action is the best way to get the best outcome, which is to be left alone. We've just covered three of my top five tips for thriving in nursing school. How are you feeling about them? Are you starting to see how these strategies can transform your nursing school experience? Before we unveil the final two game-changing tips, let's take a quick moment. I got something special for you. Head over to cutienurses.com start and grab your free digital flashcard. These are designed to help reinforce what you've learned and make your study session even more effective. Also, if you're finding these tips helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's your way of saying you want more empowering content just like this. Ready for the last two tips? There's some of the best yet. So let's dive back in and keep building your path to nursing excellence. Question four, dear nurse Jojo, I failed my nursing class. My school's policy is that I can take the class one more time. If I fail again, I get kicked out of nursing school. Should I continue trying or should I just switch majors to something easier like accounting or computers? Oof. What a question. All right. I came across this very decision myself when I failed pediatric nursing. I was going through a very tough time. Unfortunately, no matter how understanding your professor may be, she just wanted to send me to counseling and just have me retake the class again. My school also has the same policy, so I was faced with a decision in my junior year of nursing. I was so tempted to switch over to accounting. This wasn't because I thought accounting would be easier, but it was because I looked up to my sister-in-law who has a degree in accounting. I do not know your financial circumstances or how much your desire is to get through nursing school. I would assume that you do want that nursing degree and that if you had passed, you would be on your way to the next class. Don't let failure define you and the path that you are on. You are given another chance to try again. You may look back and regret not taking that class. The accounting or computers path will still be there for you if you still do not make it in nursing. But once you walk away from nursing, you may have to start all over again if you regret it. They do not give second chances if you change your mind. I do want to point out that switching to accounting or computer would not be an easier path. It is actually an insult to those in those majors. They have their own set of challenges that just happens to be different from the challenges of nursing. I've seen many friends cry over accounting classes and not make it, and they were the brightest minds. Computer major is also a whole nother ordeal. Unlike nursing, where it's in the textbook, you have to create your own coding. I'm not sure which field in computer you meant that you wanted to go into, as there's many examples, but I'm going to use coding as my example. If they ask you to create your own app or game, you won't find exact answers in a textbook. You're given the ABCs, and you have to design it yourself in your own style. I know because I also took up coding for fun, and I've designed some pretty fun games. I spent five hours sitting there over a code that did not work because I put in a colon in the wrong freaking place. I'm sure you meant well, 
and didn't mean to downplay other majors in comparison to nursing, but just be ready to deal with the challenges of the other major if you didn't walk away from nursing. Choose a major that you can genuinely see yourself in and not because it is easier. I look back at all my failures and now I embrace them. It helps me to understand where my students are coming from. My mistakes and failures are the reason why QD Nurses was born in the first place. Embrace your failures and see it as an opportunity to try again. When you become a nurse, you'll look back and realize all your failures become a blur. We do have one more question that we'll go through. So question five, Nurse Jojo, my mom wants me to go to a community college to save money, but I am better than that and got accepted to a private school. My friends are all going to be there and I don't want to stay home anymore. I want to dorm and have a real college experience. How can I get my mom to change her mind? Okay, there are pros and cons to both paths. Let's start with that. So even if you believe that those who attend private schools are better than those who attend a community college, it doesn't make it easier to get a job or have a better salary. In fact, my colleagues were able to accelerate in life from attending a community college because they weren't held down from the student debt. They had the same salary as me, so it really didn't even make a difference in the end. In fact, they were able to work two years before I did because they graduated from a two years program with an ADN, while it took me four years to graduate with my BS. Zen. Of course, there are more opportunities with a BSN, but having one definitely did not make me a better or higher than my peers who went to community college. Looking back, I do wish I went to community college in the first place. While I had my scholarship, it eventually did not cover my entire tuition since tuition increased every year. By the time I graduated, I ended up in college debt while my community college friends had none. If you really wanted to go to a private school, then tell your mom that those who attend community college still have to go get accepted into nursing school afterwards if they want to go ahead and pursue a BSN. You could also try some colleges that are more affordable than a private college that won't put you in so much debt. Don't let your friends be a factor towards the decision. They are not going to be the ones paying off your student loans, right? You will make awesome new college friends along the way, so don't make the decision based on your friends. While dorming and having a real college experience sounds like a lot of fun, dealing with the aftermath of the real world is really not. 10 plus years later, my friends that dorm are still paying off their college debt. I am really glad that my mom told me not to. Instead, I just ended up hanging out in my friend's dorm. I didn't have to deal with roommate stress, worrying about what to eat, and I was fortunate enough to have my parents there to support me. But of course, I do understand everyone's situations are different, but this is just generalized advice. Know that whatever decision you do take, your mom isn't holding you back for malicious reasons. She wants what's best for you and for you to be set up for life and not start life off with debt. Unless you're attending this private school with full scholarship and free boarding, take a step back and calculate how much you'll be paying back each month as well as the interest rate from your student loans. Look at how many Many years it'll actually take to pay it off. A lot of student loans say that you'll pay it off in 10 or 15 years, but you shouldn't have to sign up for a whole decade of debt for what is essentially going to be the same outcome. And just like that, we reached the end of my five pieces of advice for conquering nursing school. Looking for more tips and tricks to make your journey even more fun and engaging? Check out our next video where we dive into more essential nursing school hacks. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Join us and turn your learning experience into an adventure. If you have any questions, feel free to submit them anonymously and I'll address them. You can also drop a comment below and we can start a conversation. Know that whatever situation you've encountered in nursing school, you are absolutely not alone. We've been there. You've got the strength and determination to get over this hill and enjoy the amazing view from the top. Keep pushing forward. Keep smiling. And remember, every step you take is a step closer 
to your dream. See you in the next video. And until then, keep climbing with confidence and joy.